I heard Table 5 is the best table. Well, yeah, that's true. It's a true story. Yeah, that's true. So, um, Lassie gets some loving, huh? Lassie gets some loving. Some crazy, crazy loving. Lassie gets a lot of loving. It, it, uh, James and Todd wrote this episode, and James directed it. One of my favorite to shoot. Christy Swanson comes up with a lot of She's just a delight. And it was such an amazing thing to, to play a guy like Lassie, who's, you know, he's in this box, and then every now and then they just open the chute. He gets to go this totally other direction. So that was ridiculous to this great. Looking forward to we asked him if that meant last he was easier to get along with this season, and they laughed and laughed. No, 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 he's still, he's still an idiot. You know, he's still yeah. just. I think he's been really, uh, really on top of it with the romance. Last year yeah. was very romantic. Yeah, it is. It's funny, really. <laughs> it's, it's really sweet. He's really invested yeah. in, in his girlfriend. And, uh, and then Kurt uh, said you have romance too. What do you mean? I got a bromance with Woody. Uh, Woody even has a bromance with me. I'm not really. <laughs> Uh, as uh, receiving of the love as Woody would like it to be, but uh, Kurt Fuller is one of the funniest people on the planet. So to have him on the plate with some of you guys. Kurt brought it up on panel, but you kind of dodged the question. I kind of agreed with him. He said that your character might have changed the most, not just from the pilot episode, but like the whole season. Do you think that at all? Yeah, I, th I mean, uh, I think that the writers have been. Incredibly generous with, with this character and, and with me as an actor getting to this, like I said, just getting to stretch and play different colors. Because you know, the writers are all pals of ours now, and I think they, get, they have a great time writing other aspects, just like I've a great time playing these other aspects. And hopefully, my co stars also have a good time. Having to relate in this different world with this guy who's suddenly. Right. I agree with that. I think you've changed. I, I think your character has changed. Yeah. 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 And it's really rare in, in television. Especially right. in your character, like your role being oh, the, always yeah. the one butting heads with Sean. Yeah. You have to always be that guy, but then like we get into this romance, and then we get into like a sort of sweeter. Yeah, it's, and that's the greatest challenge of playing this guy. It's like, well, he's still who he is. Ultimately, I think people don't change. They're just aspects of their lives. You know? So at the core, he's still socially in a classroom. But you get to see a whole... I get to play a whole lot of people. Now, as actors, has it evolved how much you can... Uh, what the extent of your input is in the, in the world? Our ratings are so wonderful with, with, I mean, a lot of the show, you know, we, we play with, there's like a lot of improv and a lot of improv and we're like, I think our ratings have done a really good job of sort of watching our relationships as as actors and friends yeah. grow and incorporating that into into the show as well. So yeah, we've I feel like we've, we've gotten to a place where they really... As much as we trust them, I think they really trust us now. Like they can write an episode where you know Tim goes totally romantic. He sort of loses his head for a little bit and and, and kind of jumps out of Lassiter like as Lassiter normally is, and they know he's going to hit it out of the park because they will. I mean, well, and, yeah. It's, same. it's like they know our strengths that we and their weaknesses. It's like they wrote an episode for Maggie where her, her, her strange father played by. Turner comes out, <laughs> and it's, it's like, it's not silly, it's not funny. There is, no. it's a really deep, troubled stuff. relationship. And but you know, Maggie's a great actress because they've gotten to know her so well, and they know, like, they know she can do it. So like, that's true. But they just they've gotten to know us. So it makes sense. It makes so yeah. fancy too. Um, the love fest. So it's it's. So it's not so much us giving input, it's them, the writers. So when the writers come up, they're there for 10 days sometimes. And we're going out, we've all become friends now, so we're sort of right for our strengths, I think. Are things changing with the challenge of the new challenges? I think, I think. I think it's a, it's a nice change. I think there's a little bit of romance and a softer side, you know, uh, going on there. But um, again, our writers, I mean, they've just done such a really good job of, like, we're, we're a relationship and Sean and Gus are a relationship. And so we're, 
they, Tim and Lassiter are still, you know, my partner. And Sean and Gus will always be like brothers. So to, to go into the romance world is always a little dangerous. And I think they've just done a really good job. Of, like, it weaves in and out. Um, yeah, it's a very sort of real relationship. Yeah, yeah. It's not, we're not hitting anyone over the head with, you know, big romantic slips. Yeah, it's not suddenly romantic comedy. Yeah, no, no. Uh, but there are romantic elements. It's nice. Yeah.